Right. All right, everyone, so it's exciting today because you are gonna get a tour of the Tumaini Orphanage by, say you guys' names. Eric. 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 Julius. Julius. Simon. And Simon. Tell everyone, okay, so this guy is one of our scholarship recipients. He is about to graduate next year. Next year, July. In July yeah. from Time what work. what what university? Kenya Kenyatta. Methodist, Kenya Methodist University. Kenya Methodist University and he is studying um, computer, science. computer science. Computer science. Yes. yes. And just so you guys know, all of the money that is used to send him to school is something that is raised. So if you guys donate, of course, then you're I'll supporting guys like this guy. Thank you. Yes. Uh Do you want to, what kind of stuff are you growing here? Normally you grow tomatoes, skuma wiki, cabbages, onions, yams, many things which can give us good health. Tell me about you. Who, tell me, tell everyone on the camera who you are. Okay, my name is Simon Moringa. I'm 18 years of age. I'm in Form 3. I want to join Kenyatta University so I can do biochemistry. Biochemistry? Like yeah, biochemistry. Oh my goodness, that you. <laughs> and what do you want to be? I want to become a lecturer. Oh, oh, so you want to teach? Yeah, I want to teach young people. Now the kids come here every Sunday. They taught about the Bible. We have teachers, so this is a small church. In addition to cooking all of the vegetables and, and guarding on food, they also have their own cattle uh, that all the kids care for as well, for all their milk and produce and things like that. So we have the three cows which we normally milk. They give us our milk so these guys can take milk. And we have the young calves here, two of them, female cattle. So we expect them to grow up and give us milk. Uh, I'll show you something over here. Uh, you normally we speak with them using our own language. Uma, 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 uma. Now the meaning of the term uma simply means move, 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 move. So this uh, take it this way, bring it here. Boom! <laughs> yeah, I love that. There you go, Brian! There you go! You know Is that I the one I, I hear every morning? Yeah. yeah. The one that's like, go, 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 go! Yeah. Oh, look at it. He's like, huh? What? Saudi. Go, come. <laughs> and uh, the big project that they're working on that's our main project is actually right behind you guys, which is this one. So one of the, the main things with this project is that for a lot of the kids, they uh, after after secondary school, high school, if they don't get into college or university, um, they might not have a job. And so the, the goal of this is to teach um, children and even people in the community a an employable skill like mechanics, culinary, welding, things like that. And so um, that way, Everyone can actually learn a skill to to bring in the job market. So let's let's yeah, let's go take a look. <laughs> hey. Yeah, so 
this guy right here, for anyone that runs track, 5Ks, 10Ks, um, how, you run 15K. 1,500 meters. 1,500 meters. Uh, I don't know how many in miles that would be. So 1,500, this math stuff's hard. But he runs in like three and a half minutes. That would be the equivalent of you running three and a half times around a track in three minutes. Three minutes. Three and a half times around a track. That's almost a four minute mile. Future Olympian right here. Right here. Dude, you're awesome. Hey! How are you? Ah! Oh, oh my goodness. Yes, how are you? Doing so good. So good. Yeah, it's nice. This is where all the kids uh, wake up. They go to school from 7 o'clock to 5 o'clock every single day. Um, and some of them walk literally over five miles just to come here. And so it's, it's Saturday right now, so there's no kids here. Um, but you can kind of see what the, what the school looks like without any kids. Um, and this is the main thing that you'll see um, in my speeches I talk about where a lot of kids um, come and they're denied the right to attend school because they don't have the proper necessities, which is shoes. And so when we bring shoes and, and do that, it allows kids some to give the gift of an education. And so this is the entrance to the, the primary school. In the school, there's literally over 500 kids that come into the school, and uh, all of them from diverse backgrounds. Um, there's there's really no, there's no electricity in the classrooms, and they cram um, about 50 kids into one single classroom. Let's see if we can, um, you know, the school's closed right now because it's the weekend, but let's see if we can find a, a classroom with an open window. Oh, here we go. <laughs> The weather right now, it's about <clears throat> the equivalent of like maybe like 70 degrees and uh, it's its really kind of misty. There's just like this, this nice mist that when you wake up in the morning everything's damp and now the sun's just starting to break through the clouds a little bit, it's starting to heat up, but it really just pops out all of the color. It's just so beautiful here. 